this is a job <coughs> that I've always done. Occasionally, the boys will help me with it if they're around, but I like having the lights on the house, so I do it. Guys are supposed to do it, but they don't. But you know what? That's so sexist. Girls can do anything a boy can do. I have to say, I like being up here. Mom? What? Some of these are out over here. Ah. Like, in between. Victory! We got it! What you don't know is that every year there's a, a gap somewhere. And she's like, oh, that won't do. And she'll rehang it. Once they were up there, a blank spot appeared. And then the roof got really pretty icy. The weather got really bad. I can't do it when the weather's bad. I, that no. scares me to get on a slippery oh. roof. Yeah, yeah, thanks for not doing that. That's actually a good thing. <laughs> This year for Christmas, us going to a cabin and celebrating it there is for a lot of reasons. There's a lot of um, stresses that we've had right now with going public. Cody's frantic and stressed out and kind of all over the place. And there's a lot more added stress. There's things like the investigation. We're meshing the families together. We're trying to figure out the, the, the traditions and how everything works together. Yeah. Mary and Janelle and Christine have these traditions in the family. And it was like, I really wanted to bring something to the table as far as Christmas was concerned and something that would mean something to the children as well. like there was a candy cane and it symbolized Christ kind of pulling us in as a shepherd. For me, it, it kind of went back to kind of more of the roots of what Christmas is all about. I love ornaments. And so I was trying to figure out a way to, to give an ornament to the kids every year. So I thought, you know, what, if I made it, then I could afford it. And then it's a little bit more personal too. That someday when they're an adult or something, they'll pull out this ornament and have a memory of, you know, that I love them <laughs> and that that Christmas was special. a traditional Christmas breakfast that I do but really for me it's just about hanging out with the with the family. I have brought into the family the tradition of St. Lucia's Day. We're the oldest girls of the family make breakfast so um, Madison, Aspen, Mariah, and Aurora. Aurora is so <laughs> excited to be a part of this older oldest daughter. The oldest daughter club. It's yes. so cute. I'm so excited it's about so it. Well, every year for Christmas, I make the kids all pajamas and give to them on Christmas Eve. And so I've got most of them done, but I need to finish up the rest of them. So I'm gonna sew some pajamas. When the kids were really little, I think Mariah was probably two, I decided I wanted to make them pajamas that year for Christmas. And the tradition has just stuck. Do you want one? Who wants a red nose? <laughs> I loved this experience. And there was one, one time when I'm watching all the wives in the kitchen work together, you know, knocking hips. And I was really pleased to see the experience. They were bantering back and forth. They were having a lot of fun. He got really cute about it, too. He just kind of got all doughy. I'd, oh, my wives are in the kitchen together cooking. <laughs> and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> It was very interesting to hear Robin's perspective because my domestic skills are significantly lower than some of the other skills I have. So it's like I really don't know what to do. And so a lot of times, especially when it comes to the cleaning or the cooking when we're all together, I'll just disengage. I don't consider you well, less that, domestic. Well, no, it's just more that I don't engage. And then over the years, I would hear comments at the very first about how lazy or whatever, do you know what I mean? And so those are old tapes that are playing. So you know, What would make it better? Just, I don't know, I mean nothing, do you know what I mean? Just don't expect me to be much help in the kitchen when we're all together like that. <laughs> So after dinner, it was time for our very special brown family Christmas Eve tradition. One, two, three, go! Oh. Since Mariah was two, I've been making pajamas for the kids for Christmas Eve. And I give them to them every Christmas Eve. They know to expect them now. I can't wait to sleep in these tonight. Some people get no, and it's so funny because we started with the pajamas 
But I don't know how the fashion show evolved, but it's awesome. We do it every year. Yay! Where's the applause, guys? Come on. All right, come on. So after we were done with the Hanukkah dinner, we went Christmas caroling because we are an equal opportunity family when it comes to <laughs> holiday <laughs> celebrations. <laughs> Joy to the world. One. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. There's nothing more exciting than opening your front door to a bunch of people singing off key Christmas songs. <laughs> and in the end, I think we completely accomplished our goal. We spread a little bit of brown Christmas cheer to the neighborhood, and it was a lot of fun. Thank you. Merry Christmas. I said we go buy another tree. No, come on, it's cute. That poor tree, oh man, we beat it. All right, so what we can do is we can do it right here in the middle. Let's see how it looks. All right. It's actually a fun tree. It is pretty much almost naked by the time we got it set up. This tree is going to be a memory of this Christmas forever. It just will. Remember that stupid tree that we got <laughs> that one year? They're going to talk about this for years. <laughs> it is very patchy like. We killed it ourselves. Now we're mounting it at our house. <laughs> I love the tree because it was an experience we had together. <laughs> Logan is a senior in high school this year, so this is probably effectively his last Christmas at home. So it's a little bit of a, a milestone for me to have a child that is actually getting ready to go and do their own thing. I have to say it's not just a milestone for you, Janelle. We've been there, you know, since he was born, too. I mean, he came out of you, but he's all of our boy, <laughs> you know? We're all kind of exhausted, so now, we get to go make caramels. <laughs> yeah. I'm making a third batch of caramels because my first one is a solid rock and my second batch burned. <laughs> so I'm taking what I learned and making a third batch. I've got to make caramels. And I said I would do it because I knew you were here. <laughs> Okay. So, I don't feel guilty enlisting my mom's help because I don't cook and everybody else cooks. That's the butter, carol syrup, sugar, and salt. and salt. I feel like it's just making the playing field fair. Now it's going to take a few minutes to get all to that. To get it all melted. Mm -hmm. Was the one that came up with this idea again? It wasn't me. It was your husband. Know. Oh, that man. Maybe who's your husband at the moment. No, who's your husband <laughs> right now? I am so tired. This is my Christmas, and the demand is a little silly in my head. <laughs> I've got waxed <laughs> I've actually made candy before. I just don't want to make it today. I think the two of us should go take a nap instead of go make caramels, Mary. Wouldn't that be funny? I say we go down to the store, buy some caramels, <laughs> wrap them. <laughs> I have no problem doing that. Usually on Christmas, everything is closed. Well, it was actually January 2nd, so everything was open. Hey, Lolly, it's Mary Brown. Lolly owns Rodworks, and so I called her to see if they were open and if we could come and get some of the caramels, if she still had any. We need um, some of your caramels that you have by your register. Do you have a bunch of them? I do. <laughs> do, do a lot of people like them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there's just a part of me that thinks it would just be super funny to beat Christine at her own game by cheating because she's such a cheater pants. <laughs> I'm not cheating. Before you enter anything into a contest, you try and perfect it. Christine has already come over because she took all the carol syrup I had in small bottles and then something happened to her batch. She's over there cooking batches upon batches of these caramels. You know, 
Somebody else has turned to cheat. I don't know. Thanks. See you soon. Bye. 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 Good, it's not scorched on the bottom. Yes. How are you guys? Oh, we are good. <laughs> okay, so this is a deal. We are having a little competition <laughs> between the four of us. Okay. <laughs> About who can make Sorry. Cody's mom's caramels the best. Can <laughs> we just try it? Yeah. Oh. We are so winning. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we just roll them like this on the counter. We need to warm them up though. No, 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 no. no. They're no. not rolled. They're flat. I know, but like just mess with them. We are not losing this thing after all this work. <laughs> Cody's whole big thing about, you got my caramel, you're not worthy to be my wife thing. Lies are always okay as long as you tell the truth later. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this off or not. I'm really worried about the way the wrappers look. I really worry about whether or not the, the caramels look too uniform. I, I would be terrible at crime. I would make a horrible shoplifter. I'm too nervous. Do you feel guilty at all about this, Robin? I don't. <laughs> Do you a little? I think it'll be fun to see what happens, to see if anybody <laughs> can figure it out. I think it'll be fun to see. All right, should we do this? Let's go. Okay, so. let's do it. Taste test time. Should we do it? Hey, Cody, can you just right. here for a minute, please? All right, this is how I'm going to judge the caramel contest. It's going to be a blind taste test. We'll have three caramels on a plate, and I am going to decide which one tastes like my mother's. Okay, it's just, just if you fun. like it, and which one's closest to your mom's. I have an ulcer because of this. <laughs> the first one was a little soft. It tasted good, and it seemed pretty good. I was pleased. That one's pretty decent and pretty close. It wasn't quite it. Mm. That one's yummy, but it's not my mom's at all. The second one had some unique flavor in it, like amaretto. It was different. It has something unique in it. There's pecans. It's pecans rather than walnuts. I think your mom usually does walnuts. Yeah. I know it's their caramel, yeah, and I know that they've done something. Yeah, you guys put something else in it. You guys are screwing with me because I know you've got a different ingredient. <laughs> when I talked about this changed ingredient, these two start giggling. <laughs> You're so pecans. funny. No, you guys no, it's just pecans. Oh, no, you put something different in because it doesn't <laughs> taste like my mom's recipe. Is it your mom's recipe or your mom's recipe? <laughs> it's not my mom's recipe. I know something's up. I don't know what. And the third one was just right. The middle one, that's it. It tastes the most like my mom's. Good job. Victory. It was Christine. I told you you couldn't However, win. <laughs> However, that's I awesome. do have to say I prefer Mary's and Robin's over mine. Easy. Really? Yeah. Apparently, Mary and Robin, you guys put a secret ingredient in your caramels. Yes. And you're all stinky so. like. So. These take like yeah. the name brand caramels. Oh, oh really? Well, maybe now. Oh, man, you can... guys are looking even more guilty. I know <laughs> something is up. We decided that we were too busy and we didn't want to and we rather would shop. So you guys so bought caramels shopped. and just melted them down? I called Lolly at Rodworks. We went up to the store and bought the ones that are in the little basket. <laughs> <laughs> So they're disqualified. <laughs> I thought for sure that they had actually taken my mom's recipe. I, th I, this is like... awful. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I love Christmas and the whole, the whole Christmas season because it's all about peace and goodwill to all men. But when I was growing up, my dad actually spent Christmas separate. Like he had one house he was going to for Christmas and then he had another house. And then sometimes even we wouldn't be able to celebrate Christmas until New Year's because he was at my other mom's house for Christmas. So I love that we celebrate Christmas all together. All right. Oh, I, got I guess we're going to go up and eat. Come on, everybody. Yeah, let's eat. Come on. Thank you for dinner. Thank you. Nazi. You guys, you're welcome. You are more than welcome to sit out at the dining room table out there. 
So it's a funny thought to sit here and wonder which one of our kids would move ones. back. Ones. Okay, which, which kids would move back to Flagstaff? I think Caleb is the most likely to want to be at Flagstaff because the mountainous terrain, the fact that elk are everywhere, deer in the backyard. You too. <laughs> Aspen just drops hints occasionally. We're going to move to Flagstaff. Blah, blah, blah. I want them all to come back, but the reality of it is, It's one of those things where we, we wonder if it's true. If you build it, they will come. Once we get established and we're finally out living out at Coyote Pass and we've got homes next to each other so the kids will, when they come for a holiday... Wait, we'll not be... one house? You pitched one. I know. Today. I know. Today. This morning. It was this I know, morning. I'm not... You're not... I'm not putting any pressure on you guys. Oh, okay. That, oh, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I'm just listening. I mean, we there's... discussed this now, though. Like, we really shouldn't be discussing this. Like, this is... This... I just... Like, we got to... Keep Christmas good. I know. I know. I'm not, I'm not pushing. Okay. What are we doing? Presents. Pajamas. So we have a tradition. Everybody comes over to my house Christmas Eve. We have dinner, and then we do Christmas jammies. Oh. It's present time! Yes. I'm gonna, do you want to help me pass them out? Yeah. I used to make them. I haven't for a while. I go shopping instead. <laughs> Say it loud so everybody knows. My children were sure as heck all here as an uncle The first year, I think we had six kids, and I got them all the cutest little pair of sweatpants. So it's been going for a while. <laughs> One, two, three. 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 a good picture in the whole lot of them. Uh, <gasps> Beautiful! Amazing! It took like 30. <laughs> They're terrible. Look at our little fairy wonderland for Christmas. My woman, she really likes her decorations. Angels, 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 Jesus, gingerbread houses. Our kids are starting to trickle in. We're going to sit down and have a whole family experience here. This mountain of presents that we have. We have a lot of children. You give each child one or two presents. It looks like this. Can we open it? So you don't have any secret polygamous traditions? We don't have polygamous traditions. Yes. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! It's just Christmas. We just celebrate. We have more presents because we have more people. It takes longer. It's not super weird. Check, check, check. Okay, everybody. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I've needed this for so long. Who gave now you I can... this torture device? Dayton, I want to borrow it. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being born. Yeah. You're awesome, every one of you. Thanks for conceiving me. Okay. I'm sad. That's a memory, believe me. <laughs> Janelle's blushing. That's okay, honey. We all are. <laughs> I didn't even have a ponytail then. Okay. It's funny, it's cute. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny when it's a joke and it's just a sort of an innuendo, but it's not funny here in front of the other you wives. Hear, you hear Janelle purr when Cody's hair is in a ponytail. That's why. You know about purr. <laughs> it's a growl. <laughs> it's a growl. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Everybody open your stockings. Open your stockings. Go ahead. I love socks. We usually start our Christmas day out with stockings. Then we go to uh, the exchange gifts. Robin, did you get these? Our kids don't give gifts like, to all of their brothers and sisters. They just draw one name. Hey, kids, do you know why you got so much stuff? Because you have more than one parent. You've got five, and all your parents bought stuff. When I came into the family, when I was getting to know the family, I heard a lot about Cody and how much of a Grinch he was at Christmas. It scared me a little bit. He wanted to, like, call it quits for a few years. He was, like, really saying, let's not do Christmas at all. Dick go, off. go, go fast, <laughs> Dayton, go. Go fast. You ready, Ari? Tattoo. <laughs> OK, so. I have a lot of influence of other people in my life, you know, like maybe even my dad, who struggled with the whole 
concept to Christmas as well, and the pressure on, you know, finances and stuff like that. I've sort of had to grow that out of my system and be who I want to be and raise my kids the way I want to raise my kids, not with those voices in my head. Whether we have an affluent Christmas or not an affluent Christmas, ever again for the rest of my life, my commitment to my family is we're going to find joy. When the kids were small, I brought one of the traditions that I was raised with into the family. It's a German Christmas, and December 5th, you put your shoes outside the door, and then Father Christmas, which was me, puts candy in the kids' shoes. So every year on December 6th, the kids would get the candy in their shoes, and then we would make gingerbread houses with the candy. So this is powdered sugar. I'm doing a flat root. Every other year that I've done this, we all get together and make gingerbread houses. And this year we just have to do it separate, just so everyone can still quarantine, so we can get together for Christmas Day. Why are you all right, I'm done. What do you guys think? You're fired. Those are my bushes. That is very cute. You like my house? Yes. Around Christmas time, there's like this special little buzz in the air, and it's already here for us. We don't want anything to ruin it. We were good. We were going to be able to have Christmas together after all. Well, we have made it to Christmas. We are finally getting together. Right. We're having a blessing. Dearly Father, thank you for all of our blessings. Thank you for the wonderful year that we've had. Thank you for all our blessings. I'm struggling to be excited. I had gotten myself to the place where I was prepared to not have Christmas together if they didn't want to comply because I was tired of the fight. So I just want a peaceful Christmas. Amen. Amen. I did text my family. I said, hey, let's make some certain topics off limits for our kids so we don't have issues. We're not talking COVID. We're not talking politics, nothing. I'm gonna kick my boys under the table if they say anything. Ever. Yeah, right? Okay, okay who's gonna be my helpers? Sorry. You don't you get to go for that. Yeah. 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 Mary usually does uh, pajamas um, on Christmas Eve. Instead of Christmas Day giving the kids each a gift, this is her gift to the kids. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Apparently, Mary is not doing pajamas this year. I don't know how else to describe these. It's a wearable teddy bear. Picture. <laughs> the little kids are having fun. You know, they're interacting in a way that they haven't for months. <laughs> Everything that we've been sitting here worrying about through this whole year is just kind of disappeared right now. And we're just enjoying ourselves. We are headed over to Robin's house to have our traditional Christmas morning. It's Christmas Day! Today's Christmas Day and we're all gathering up to have Christmas together. Does everybody see where their stocking is? Generally, the kids draw names. The adults all give gifts to each other. We all take care of our own children. And then we work on the stockings together. It's interesting and it's even a little sad that Ariella is is forgetting who her brothers and sisters are. Thank you, Ray. Oh, this is awesome. Come here, buddy. It's a halo. And it was just really, really, really fun to just actually be together in each other's space and just hanging out with everyone. Oh, so Being together for this holiday, it's kind of melting away some of the hurts and stuff that, um, at least for me, that has happened through COVID. We've had a lot of struggles this year with COVID, with relationships, the passing of Grandma Cheryl. As a result, I'm a little blue. I'm not really feeling that joyful this Christmas. Hello, 
I think we've damaged some relationships, so I think it's time to kind of get back to the normalcy and see if we can smooth some of those things out. This is definitely the quietest Christmas we've ever had. Overall, I'd say our Christmases are always really good. We just kind of put whatever problems and issues individuals will be having, we just kind of put those aside and just tackle that on another day. And let's just focus on celebrating us together instead. It was a great Christmas. So I just had to order this new Christmas tree because, well, that mine is way too big for this apartment. You got a tree. Is yes. it pre-lit and everything? Yes, because <gasps> I've decided life oh is gosh. too short to wrap your own lights. I adore Janelle. I'm so glad that I have a friendship with her. Janelle and I got closer and closer really a lot since we moved to Flagstaff. Um, and with me leaving, she's just been so supportive. I hope I'm there for her like she has been for me because she's been extremely supportive of me leaving. It was fun. So you had a fun Thanksgiving? Yeah, it was and fun. And Isabel, how's Isabel doing? Good. She okay? Yeah. Okay, good. She good. calls me like she misses me so bad sometimes. I think she's... she's, I think she's struggling. That first semester in college, even Logan, who lived in Las Vegas, was like, I'm going to drop out and come home, Mom. They all have that, that first semester. There's some discussion about... Are you talking about... about next year going to Maddie's again? See, I don't know. I know everything's really separate right now, but it can't stay that way, right? Yeah, I don't know. Really? I, I have no idea. My tradition has always been on Christmas Eve to give the kids their Christmas jammies. This year, we change it up, and they're getting blankets. It's probably very awkward for Mary. This is mine and Robin's house. Robin and I always have to tone down our romantic tension completely. I know that it's different for Mary and Cody. Out of respect for her and out of love for her, I'm careful. Cody doesn't hide things well, and I'm well aware. It's kind of like being the other woman. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. We read through the nativity. We have an experience together. You know, tomorrow's going to be Christmas. We'll be super focused on who's here and who we love and stuff like that. But I'm coming at this with a deficit. My bank account of love has, has, has been just just my heart has just been ripped to pieces. I just figured, well, let's just do Christmas. We'll open some presents. It'll be fun. Make it as fun as we can. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. Oh, Ariella, are you putting on makeup? Whose whose makeup kit do you have? It's mine. Is that yours? Who, who puts all your toys here in the morning, on Christmas morning? Santa. Sa Santa does? Yeah. And he gave you a makeup kit? Yeah. And you're putting it on right now? Yes. Okay, let's see you put it on. Here, look, look at me and bat your eyes. Oh, wow. OK, cool. I, I didn't want Isabel and Truly and McKelty to be the only ones opening gifts. And so I saved some of um, my own kids' like gifts, wanted it to feel like Christmas. Ari's personality is, um, she's kind of annoying, sweet, crazy, uh, imaginative, and uh, I forgot the fifth one. What did you say about me? I can't think. <laughs> you're gonna, you're so gonna be dead. Solomon is like a little twerp sometimes. He, he sometimes I wants to kiss my nose, and sometimes he wants to boss me around. Um, he is uh, a little annoying. He's just basically a yucky kid, and a funny kid, and a sweet kid. Okay, thank you. Where are we? Do you want to sit by me? I'm 
We were opening presents. Cody started asking me to come over and sit with him. I didn't want to make a big scene. I don't want to rub this in McKelty and Isabel and Trulie's face. I'm not that optimistic right now. We're coming out of the holidays, and it's been the, like the hardest year of my life. I don't know what our family looks like a year from now. This whole breakup thing and the whole fight with Janelle is leaving me in pretty deep sorrow. I'm struggling to reach out to my kids anymore because Janelle's household is the source of my pain. I want a good Christmas. I'm present and centered with Robin and her kids as best as I can be so that I can enjoy my Christmas. I know that there's some things I've got to change, but I'm not ready. It's maybe not the best, but it's the place I'm in right at this moment. There will be other Christmases.